Peace and blessings, peace and blessings, brothers and sisters, peace and blessings. Um, it's going to be a quick word, man. Um, getting ready to start my day. Uh, the sun hasn't coming out, has not come out yet. But um, what I want to do, man, is um, I want to speak about uh, perseverance. Um, I think that sometimes in life we lose sight of um, perseverance. Um, we go through it and we, we, we go through perseverance. We go through things in life and sometimes we don't even know when we have persevered. Um, it's very important to understand that because if you have uh, went through some things in life where you persevered, you are a good reference point for somebody down the road that might uh, go through perseverance. And who, who a better person to comfort them and give them confidence knowing that no matter how challenging, how difficult things are, they're going to be okay. So uh, in this quick word, man, I want to speak about perseverance. And what is perseverance? Perseverance is not giving up. Um, perseverance, per perseverance is enduring and trying times and continuing to move forward in so many words, man. And um, the Bible speaks about it. I always reference Job. I mean, it's, it's various uh, characters in the Bible. It's various instances in the Bible where uh, people go through perseverance, man. But I, I want to focus on Job because Job was considered blameless. Okay, think about that. Job was considered blameless. Okay, and... Um, you know, no matter in good times or bad times, he stayed faithful to the Lord. A lot of us, when things get bad, we have the nerve to be disappointed with the Lord. And we only give him his due. We only acknowledge him and um, feel great about him and give him his praise when it's, when, you know, only in good times. But Job remained faithful, good and bad times, man. Yeah. Yes, indeed. I mean, you know, Job was, was very blessed, uh, you know, because of his because of his faithfulness, man. The Lord blessed him. I mean, you know the story. He had wealth, you know. Um, he had his family. You know, Job had it all, you know. And um, snap of a finger, he lost everything his children, his wealth. And then he also suffered health attacks. And he still per persevered. Yeah. Yeah, man. He persevered in his faith. Um, his stance with the Lord. Through all the challenges, through everything that you could throw at somebody when they down and out. He remained faithful, man. And because he remained faithful, a.k.a. because he persevered, he didn't waver. The Lord not only restored his health, but also restored his wealth and blessed his family. Gave him a larger family. He gave him twice everything that he originally lost, man. So what am I saying in so many words? Brothers and sisters, it will be a time where um, you will have to um, deal with great challenges in life, um, trying times in life. And when you get at that point, keep moving forward. It's easy to stop. It's easy to shut down. It's easy to give up. It's hard to push forward, man, when you're really going through a trying time, man. And... Um, for anybody that's going through a trying time or dealing with some suffering, man, just always think about Job, the book of Job, man. And I'm telling you, um, that should really, really, really give you the confidence booster that you need uh, to, to stay faithful, uh, continuing to believe in the Lord, and just know at the end of that dark tunnel, there is some light, man. Yeah. Perseverance 
is the persistency in doing something despite difficulty, okay? Other words for uh, perseverance is having the tenacity, determination, stand power, endurance, diligence, commitment, steadfastness, steadfastness, okay? Um, you know, again, perseverance, man. Continue effort to do or achieve something despite difficulties, failure, or opposition. The action or condition or an instance of persevering steadfastness. Steadfastness, man. Yeah. So I hope you sincere brothers and sisters were edified by this quick word, by this quick message. Um, today is the Sabbath day of so-called Saturday. And Lord willing, we will have our regular session later today. And I hope you sincere brothers and sisters are truly edified with the word, man. Shalom.